Hello and welcome to our channel. Now in this video, we will tell you how the cast of 1990s movie Law and Order has changed. I'll show you what they looked like back then in 1990 and now in 2022, how they've changed compared to when they were on the show. All right, let's go. Sam Waterston in the movie he plays EADA John James Jack McCoy. In 1994, he was 54 years old and now he is 81 years old. James Gordon had a reason to be on that street corner. The bottom line is that fact has absolutely nothing to do with whether or not he was competent to form the intent. Lovely to be here. So, yes. so now I've had my dose of audience. My, that's it. Let's go. Let's yes. leave. This, you got a nice this is good. That's yeah, that's need. all I needed. I'm, I'm... As Ibertha Murkison in the film, she plays Lieutenant Anita Van Buren. In 1991, she was 39 years old, and now she is 69 years old. And, and you would know this because? Magic. See if Cooper's buddies know how he came up with the money to pay for that. I would not read the back end of the episode so that I can not only be a participant. Jerry Orbach, in the movie he plays Detective Leonard Briscoe. In 1991, he was 56 years old and it was with great sadness that he passed away on December 28, 2004, at the age of 69 from prostate cancer. Found it. Your beeper now working? What I was doing, I don't wear a beeper. Usual treatment of a crime scene, Carrillo, you stirring it with a stick? Bohemian kind of uh, modern uh, racy thing to be doing, you know. Not everybody did that. Leslie Hendrick in the film she plays M.E. Dr. Elizabeth Rogers. In 1992, she was 32 years old and now she's 62 years old. You get a chance to take a quick look at Sylvia Hadley? Confirmed cause of death. Manual strangulation, no cloth-like abrasions, no leather cuts. And what about time? Take no responsibility for yourself. Typical. What part? of not interested, don't you understand? Jesse L. Martin, in the movie, he plays Detective Edward Ed Green. In 1999, he was 30 years old, and now he is 53 years old. Through you. Oh, that kind of attitude is not gonna get you on a Wheaties box, Kev. We know you didn't go to Atlantic City, Kevin. Oh, and that means I killed Norman? No, but it means that you lied to us. You'll just never understand what it means to be a father. Well, it's been nice to be reminded that everybody is so talented, like, you know, I saw... Chris Noth, in the movie, he plays Mike Logan. In 1990, he was 36 years old, and now he is 67 years old. Jobs, and uh, the longer it gets, the more I realize I'm unemployed. <laughs> <laughs> this is your so warning signal? It, yes, so it's when, getting longer. When more effort is going into this than learning... <laughs> Bench number nine! Warrant, huh? Warrant this lady, alright? I get a warrant, it's gonna take me three hours. Now you listen to me! You listen to me! Fred Thompson, in the movie, he plays D.A. Arthur Branch. He was 60 years old in 2002. And it was with great sadness that Thompson passed away at the age of 73 from recurrent lymphoma on November 1st, 2015. If I'd wanted a yes man, you'd have been out on your butt a long time ago. I need someone who can tell me when my britches are unbuttoned. You took so forth. And that's well and good. We're an open democratic society. But there are bigger principles involved here. One is that the torture is not... Michael Moriarty, in the movie, he plays EADA Ben Stone. In 1990, he was 49 years old, and now he is 81 years old. And you also testify that when you came home, Dee Dee was laying in the middle of your living room floor in her school clothes. I thought she was sleeping. Does she usually spend the night? With a character I kind of worked out, and, and, uh, and I do the character. Benjamin Bratt, in the movie, he plays Ray Curtis. In 1995, he was 32 years old and now he is 58 years old. You stood right here then. People were coming and going. A guy named Igor, did he come or go? He was around. 
Well, how did he react when he saw his ex-old lady? Centers on a federal agent played by Brian who, in real life, went under deep cover for about four years. Mm -hmm. And instead of following the drugs, he decided to follow the money. So he cozied up to... Carolyn McCormick in the film she plays Dr. Elizabeth Olivet. In 1991, she was 32 years old, and now she is 63 years old. The purpose of this little get-together is emphatically not to bust your chops, as you put it. It's to help you accept your partner's death. I accept it. Yeah, and then I thought, oh, yeah, I'd love to do that play. I'd love to give that a shot. Now, I know that your character is an agent. She is an editor. Editor. Stephen Hill in the movie he plays D.A. Adam Schiff. He was 68 years old in 1990 and it was with great sadness that Hill died of cancer in a New York hospital on August 23rd, 2016 at the age of 94. You still think Ryder's guilty? Some of that stuff is bunk. The cleaners are ripped plastic bags. Yeah, well, the pins are not bunk and the alibi witnesses are not bunk. Thank you for watching the whole video. If you like this video, please share it. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel to support us in producing the next videos.